So just a recap of what happened in tiny race number one. There was a big hill and a finish at the top. I tried my hardest to pass as many people as I could before the line came. Being a bit late to the party, realizing it was the finish line. But we got there and we ended up coming, I think 23rd-ish. There you go, 23rd, about 43, mid pack. Um, and then my number's there. So on to race number two. Three, two, one, off we go. So the start was definitely not as hard as race one. But still solid, still pushing over 300 watts. Um, sits up a bit sooner, uh, which was very nice because I was cooked. Now comes the climb, and I really don't like this climb. I call it the Kelly Whirly climb, and I don't know what it is about a hill on a curve, but I'm just not about it. I drop every single time, always fall to the back. I just hate curly climbs. Um, but also, this was really hard. So I did like a 320 watts. So what's that? Like a VO2 max effort for a minute um, after obviously the race you just saw, if you watched race one, but then also still a solid start. So it was feeling pretty intense. The stats for this whole race, my average power was 274 with normalized 285, which is my 20 minute max power with a vo2 max one minute in it as well so it was still pretty hard um, but definitely not as intense as the first race so here we're coming to the top of the climb still pushing to try and stay in contact um, and while we're waiting for me to get in there i'll just uh i'll apologize for my croaky voice i had my christmas party last night and i go as hard on a dance floor as i do on this trainer if you know what i'm saying so I'm feeling as dusty as this road right now, but that's fine, worth it to get this amazing narration done for you. Alrighty, a K and a half to go, and these watts do not let up. I'm obviously at the back, so I'm in struggle town. And so I'm trying to lift just to put myself back into the middle where I'm getting more draft benefit. Um, but it's tough. Look at me go. Four and a half minutes in now. Okay, one minute later and we are at the finish line almost. 300 meters to go. It's tough, we're pushing watts. I'm thinking, hold on, hold on, keep pushing. Um, the meters are counting down. I'm very, very bad at knowing my Zwift distances and where the finish line actually is. So I'm gonna get better at that. Um, so I didn't kick until too late so didn't quite hit 600 watts i don't think it was more around that 500 watt mark straight into the pen for the next race as well eight minutes we're <gasps> very excited about eight minutes of rest <laughs> so i've realized the zwift power results aren't always totally accurate because people drop out or um, don't have a zwift power account so i came i think 34th out of about 45 but that's strong 30 out of 37 so Worse than the first one in terms of result. <laughs> uh, and why, I don't know. But there's my numbers there. It's a 4.8 watt per kilo, five minute, 5.8, uh, one minute, 6.7, 30 second, and 7.9 watts per kilo, 15 second. So that was race number two of four in the Tiny Race series. Um, if you want to find out how someone could cook a descent in Zwift, Stay tuned for race three.